stories trending online where she has been quoted for saying on uh, Joy Prime TV that um, Shatawale did not visit him, sorry, did not visit her uh, at the Cookathon and some other artists she mentioned as well. I think she mentioned Stoneboy, she mentioned Sarkodie, saying that all those people, she was expecting them to have visited her and all the things that she said. Um, I've read some reports or some media, uh, social media posts elsewhere that some people are also not satisfied with even that commentary she made. They think that, oh, why should you say that when you still have thousands of people supporting you? Why do you let all the thousands of people supporting you not look important to you but the three that you are mentioning the name? And unfortunately, one name that is trending out of uh, the lot is Shatawale, of course, we know. He's the biggest. So anytime he's mentioned among his folks or colleagues, he will surely come up tops. And that is what he has been enduring for the past years. Now, because I am part of management, I would just want to say that um, the desire to come to support whatever she was doing was high. In fact, it was one of the reasons that it even came uh, to Shatawale's post when he was making a post that, oh, he was done doing some beef lessons with Mr. Logic and Bulldog. But now that he's done sorting out those issues and sorting them out, there will be the need for him to eat um, failless meals or fileless meals. It was not really to me he wanted to come there at all costs. He meant that he was also coming to show support. I'm sure that's how I understood it. That, okay, now that I'm done with these people, it is now time for me to go eat Phyla's meals or to go eat Phyla's food in Tamale. And to me, that alone also brought some attention to whatever you were doing. Because at that time, there was so much attention on Shata because of that beef that was ongoing. So just that mention alone would also tell people that, oh, indeed, this is what is happening in Tamale, and the, the king also knows about it. But even that notwithstanding, I want Chef Faila to know that it is not over until it is over. The world has seen what you have done. And to us as performers, because we travel around the globe, because we travel around Ghana, we will surely one day be in Tamale. It will not take 10 years. It could be this year, it could be next month, it could be the following month and all that. It will not take so many years for us to be in Tamale. And the reason I'm saying it is not over until it is over because, is because anytime we are in Tamale, knowing that there is that connection, we can always, as a team, pass through your, your restaurant. I hear you have a restaurant in Tamale. Whether with a king or not with a king, the team can always visit you. We can come to Tamale for any other dealings at all. When it becomes necessary that we pass there, it will also be necessary that we also come to show love to you. So don't be offended, don't be sad, don't be disturbed that the king, because personally, after that Chatawale post on social media, I received so many calls from um, media people, both in Tamale and even here in Ghana, sorry, here in Accra. I uh, know attractive Mustafa of Ghana Bloggers Association also called and asked, oh, is it true becoming to um, Tamale? Mr. Tell it all, who is also a prolific media person, highly respected in Tamale, also called me. He placed the call to me and said, oh, boss, is it true you are coming to Tamale? And other friends in the media, some in Tamale and some here in Accra, who called to confirm whether indeed you'll be coming to Tamale. It is not over. At that time, the team had finished our tours. You know, this December, we were the busiest. We were booked and we were busy performing back to back. So right after our last show, which ended on 2nd um, 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 January, most of the team members were weak. Shatawale himself was advised to take about two weeks rest of not doing any other thing. Of course, he was releasing songs, he was recording songs. But he still had to be forced that, no, man, you need rest. You are very, very important to the team. So put everything down and rest. So at that time, it, I knew it was going to be highly impossible for the team to travel anywhere.
Plus, we needed to prepare enough finances to do that because Shatter would have to travel with bodyguards, would have to travel with management members. It means that that travel alone was going to take about, about 10 people to do that. And if you have not prepared and it comes like that, sometimes as a team which works with administration and papers, it will be hard for us to do that. So don't be disturbed, don't be worried. We will surely one day cross paths. And when it happens, you'll be happy you did. So on this note, from the team of Shata Wale, I want you, Chef, to know that we are with you. Whether Guinness recognizes you or not, we are with you and we will do this with you for life, like our adage says. Now, let me move on to the very last thing that I can run away from here. I've seen a media person from Kumase called Abroji H doing some jobs for... Shatter Movement Empire. I've seen the defense tactics is playing for us. I've seen the attacks. In fact, I'm not scared to say it. I've seen the attacks that he's doing for us. I've seen the fact that he's trying to, just as everybody is fighting against us, he's trying to fight for us. And when I saw it, I became so excited. I said, oh, wow. It's been long. We also saw somebody like this. Because when you look around, more people saying all trashy things about the empire and our king. When you look around, more people speaking trash about the empire and the king. It looks like we don't have anybody going after such people. It looks like everybody is so busy in the team itself, the core team members, to go and respond to these people. So when we saw Abra personally, or let me say, when I saw Abra doing that, I said, oh, at long last... The battle has ended. Maybe Shatter movement will be free forever. Because when you don't do it right, there is someone who will also come and give you an equal measure. So personally, I became happy about it. But you see, Ghana, sometimes we live in a funny world. When others are doing all the BS on Shatter movement, on Shatter Wale, nobody sees it. But when someone tried to do it for, movement then i saw a post and i i'm not shy to bring this here because even on facebook i mentioned it i saw a post from another respected uh, media personality in ashanti region kumasi to be specific his name is nydj he works with yfm uh, on facebook he's called ebenezer donko he wrote dear abro you are my brother but you are fooling lately and you know that was the message he gave him on Facebook. Dear Abro, you are my brother, but you are fooling lately, and you know it. When I saw the post, I want to comment that, oh, dear DJ Slim, you can also read this message as well. And do you know why I said that? I knew that for the past days, we've all seen what, sorry, DJ Slim has been doing online. On the street is watching program. For the past months or maybe weeks or days, we've been seeing it where he calls some unnecessary.